Good morning, my friends, and welcome back. Did I tell you that there are over a hundred of us meditating together mindfully? And as we do that, we not only begin to heal our own sense of division, but we send that energy out into the world. And we can do so with a prayer for healing the brokenness in which we find ourselves these days. The healing is coming and we are a part of it. And so we continue today with Rumi's seven pieces of advice that he calls the seven advices. And we move to the third one in which he says, in concealing others' faults, be like the night. So let us be seated, finding your comfortable posture, steady, straight, yet relaxed in your body, on the chair that's familiar to you. And as you sit there, just rock your body gently back and forth, very gently, and let it settle right where it does right where it does. And in that position, you may find that your body has found its balance, especially if your spine is reasonably straight. The body knows so much about how to balance itself and us if we allow it mindfully. And turn your awareness to your breathing another gift of our body that moves by itself, breathing in and breathing out in just the perfect way that we can follow it like waves. Allow yourself now to follow the breath in and notice where it goes in your body as you breathe it all the way up. Notice each part of your body expanding And as you breathe out, notice those parts releasing, letting go, and allowing your body to become completely empty. And as it becomes empty, begin to notice how the next breath simply knows how to come in and nourish you. And allow that full breath to come in one more time. All the way up your spine, circling around your head, relaxing your face, your jaw, your eyes, your forehead, and as you release it down the front of your body, allow it to travel down your legs, all the way out the soles of your feet into the ground, and breathe gently. The first two advices from Rumi were generosity and compassion and grace. And we are invited to be like a river flowing equally across all that we come across, around and over obstacles, and circling them and moving on and giving ourselves to that flow. And compassion and grace He encourages us to be like the sun, shining on everyone without exception. And today the third advice is a little awkward and it goes in concealing others' faults, be like the night. In concealing others' faults, be like the night. Can you bring to mind someone, either in your personal life, in the political life around us, in your social world, among your acquaintances, someone whose faults stand out to you clearly right now, or often, sometimes, but certainly right now, where you can see pretty much whatever it is that is dark, unkind, foolish, stubborn, 
reactive and bring that person to mind. I know sometimes for me, the person that comes to mind is myself. And that's okay too. Some things begin with ourselves. In fact, many do. As you must have something in order to give it away. Take just a moment to let yourself judge this person. Go ahead, let it come up. This is an essential part of the brains we're given that make us human. Our ability to judge is a gift. And yet how we use it sometimes, if it is in anger and division, only creates more of the same in the other person and around us. It is a contagious kind of energy. Feelings of anger and outrage arise from not accepting others and their apparent wrongdoings. It arises from shining a bright light on what is deficient in ourselves or another and essentially going to war with it as though it should not be that way. Judgment and prejudices are a familiar part of human experience and in mindfulness practice what is unique is we step back and notice them as we notice our feelings of anger and how these feelings want to go to war sometimes. Do you know that energy? Can you feel it inside yourself? Can you remember a time when that strong energy of judgment captured you, even if just for a few moments? Bring it to mind if you can. And so Rumi is saying to us, in concealing others' faults, be like the night. Do not shine a light on others' faults. Be like the night. Let them be, those faults. Accept that they are unpleasant for you in the ways that this person is different from you or the ways in which you yourself are different from the way that you believe that you should be. If we go to war and shine a light on others' wrongdoings or our own, there is never any long-lasting peace, but rather that war attitude brings immense suffering to everyone and lives are meaninglessly wasted. Whether we're talking about a literal war or a mental war, what would be different for you if you could look at these faults and wrongdoings in others or in yourself that give rise to judgment and anger? If you eliminated any inclination to see faults in another person or yourself, but rather approach them mindfully with curiosity and intentionally respond to faults in others like the night, concealing those faults, meaning no gossip, no stories, rather acceptance of the blindness or wrongdoing. And as always in mindfulness practice, this means that we move like the night. We settle like the night. We conceal others' faults by not highlighting them, but mindfully noticing and mindfully letting go, which some people call forgiveness of our imperfections. See what this advice might bring about for you today, my friends. Go out and in concealing others' faults, be like the night. Namaste. Amen.